Hi, and welcome to Lines on Design. Yes, it's a glorious spring day. I am here with my friend Beth Drake, and we're talking about real estate, but we're really talking about design and real estate together, which is kind of fun. Yeah. One of the things I remember, and I told you this before, mm -hmm. is the very first time we interviewed, you have a design background, mm -hmm. number one, yeah. and she, this is really interesting. She sees in 3D, which means most people see in two dimensions, but from a design point of view, mm -hmm. she can actually envision what a space is going to look like no matter what even if it's on a flat right. plane mm -hmm. I yeah. so remember that it was really fun yeah. so tell me about the real estate market in today's mm -hmm. world it's a it's a changing dynamic place here in the low country it is our inventory is so low of course everybody knows that because South Carolina is the number two state people are moving to and we the, know the why. whole country right, right. Exactly. our beautiful weather and everything mm -hmm. else Hilton Head's 99% built out which means there's no more new homes per se. Mm -hmm. And so either you have to tear down an old one or you buy something like this house, the seller, uh, I mean, the owner of this house bought this and completely renovated it. So she was willing to take the time to do that and she has like a new home I exactly mean, up to date yeah she's standing over yeah, here watching us they're like watching. yeah we can but go it's work. beautiful and so you'll see from the photos when i listed this home of what it did look like mm -hmm. and then fortunately she had the vision to see what it could look like and that's what a lot of people need to do today because you and, know and well and, and not to interrupt you but yeah. i think and I, it's easier for me to pitch what you all do uh -huh. i think one of the things that's really impressive about someone who has a design background and is in real estate mm -hmm. is the ability to help a client through what can be a little intimidating when you're right. going to buy a home yes. you know if it if it's and, and it is funny if it's mm -hmm. the wrong color or the wrong decade all right. right. People will be like, oh, I don't know. I can't see it. They, Do they, they rely can't. on you? How can you well, help them? Well, I help a lot of times by just like, I can con I have I know a lot of renovators and, yes. and cabinet makers and painters and everything else. And so when I'm showing a house and it needs updating, I'm saying, you know, for 30000 we could redo this kitchen. Okay. If it's, a, yeah. you know, say the bathroom, it's old. Yes. It'll, I've got the tile, tile people, plumbers. We can get this redone for 10000 mm -hmm. So you can either overpay for somebody else renovating it, where you're getting multiple offers. Like I was sure. mentioning earlier, exactly. we put an offer on a renovated house, mm -hmm. and there were seven offers. Wow. Um, and we went way above list price. Mm -hmm. Whereas you can get one that needs some work. Uh, for four or five months and get exactly what you want. And I think that's the key. I mean, mm -hmm. it's really interesting. First of all, the view here is phenomenal. Yeah, and is what we're going to try to do is we're going to go in between Beth and I talking and showing you um, photos that you have mm -hmm. of the before in juxtaposition to, to what to it looks what like we have now, now, which is amazing. Yes. Um, first of all, when we were in this living mm -hmm. area, let's talk a little bit about what yeah. you experienced in the before and after. Right, well you can see from the before pictures that this was a three-sided fireplace that is so out of date. And I see this in a lot of the homes that were built in the 90s. Um, they enclosed the other side with sheetrock, changed mm -hmm. up the fireplace, put um, shiplap up there, and you can see it's just a totally different look oh. of an updated place it's, and as a focal and point. What's interesting to me, Beth, mm -hmm. is not only is it updated, but it's very classic. Right. I'm not sure I would be able to identify when it was done. I want right. to walk into Let's the kitchen because here. I this think is this is amazing. Fabulous kitchen. Yes. Go ahead. Fabulous. Yes. Look um, at the old picture first, and that's I'm sure what we're showing. And now look at this. Look at this. You've got the contemporary um, modern island. Yes. They completely changed up all the appliances to make it more functional. Okay. Before it had a, a sink over here in the corner, which was just so outdated. So they yes. put the sink here in the center. They changed the refrigerator, made it more fun to cook. User friendly. Um, they've got the, the, you know, like you said, the brass, golden brass exactly. is coming back into style. And people are mixing. They're mixing the stainless steel with the brass and um, quartz. It's, it's we, so Well, popular. this is the best and you can't um, kill it either. Mm -hmm. I think it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, updated look. And just to think, I bet it was hard to envision when you came in initially and the kitchen had was that yes. old raised. It Ex was. And, and now look at this view they've got. And so they, this kitchen obviously was more than 30,000. Right. But so if someone paid, for instance, say in Sea Pines, you buy a house that's 1.3, it needs right. renovating, you put 200,000 in it. 
and you've got a $1.7 million house now. Oh my gosh. So the money that you put into it right now because of the lack of inventory and that our island is already built up, you're gonna get that money back. Oh, I love this. I'd yeah. love to see, you told me that the master suite oh, the is master. gorgeous too. Let's yes. go walk Let's go this over way. That All right, way. perfect. And look. Oh, Beth, this is oh. gorgeous. Yeah. Isn't this unbelievable? I, I don't know where to look first. First of all, I have to say, look at the old picture. Right. Wow. We're standing right where <laughs> the tub was. Yes. The jacuzzi, mm -hmm. and the shower was over there. And you can see from the photos, there was a glass wall, and this was kind of a workout room. Uh -huh. So it was so outdated before. This and the vision is, of this. It, it is phenomenal. First of all, from a him and her point of view, mm -hmm. I love the idea of really the separate vanities. And then mm -hmm. with the column in between, I think it's such a great use of space. Right. And again, well, you're so designy. I mm -hmm. love all this stuff that, yes, look yeah, at this. It's just like mm -hmm. HGTV right it here. It really looks like HGTV. And, and, and we were talking earlier, a lot of people are getting their ideas from HGTV mm -hmm. and Pinterest and... Exactly. You know, and all you have to do is come and show your contractor this is what you would like mm -hmm. and it, get it done. It's funny from an interior design point of view, mm -hmm. people are like, ooh, does that bother you? I yeah. love it because I feel like you get a much better visual. I don't have to read uh -huh. minds and you know that, right? right. right? Exactly. Right. And I think what I like about the spaces that they've done too is although they've integrated a lot of the grays, they've grazed it. Right. Okay. So there's a so, lot, right. It's a lot of the, um, the, the creams, neutrals. the neutrals, all the blending between the whites, very monochromatic, very coastal. Very what are you coastal. seeing people want from a real estate point of view? Um, they want the updated like this. Okay. They like the um, quartz is real big. Okay. Um, I've, I've been seeing some of the colors going back to the neutrals. Okay. And yeah, getting me too. away from the grays. Yes, me too. Um, so I think that's coming out and the grays are kind of... <clears throat> Are, you know, yeah, don't you think? Flow. Yeah, I, I right. totally do. Right. Do you find that people are still interested in big master bedrooms, kitchens? What are the focal areas for um, people now? Right now, everybody wants an office. Okay. Which oh, this yes. place has one upstairs. Okay. You know, the um, because they're either homeschooling. Uh, but we're fortunate here that children are actually getting to go to school. Oh, I got a new you word know? for you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah right, exactly. right. Oh, I got a new word office. for you. So a friend of mine who's a builder, uh, Brian Quinn, said, guess what? I'm doing houses now with remote learning stations. Uh -huh. And I was like, that's code for... Like for offices, right, yeah, right, exactly. right, right. But we've been doing so, a lot of really interesting ones with uh, desks on hinges. Interesting, that, so yes, they come up exactly. So mm -hmm. it can look like a even a um, window seat, but the desk will pop up. Pop so up. there you go, remote learning stations, right. right? And people working from home. My husband's still working from home. Is he? Oh, that's so wonderful. over a year, and so you're going to see a lot more people. At least I do. They're moving here. Okay. Yeah. You know, with the demand, mm -hmm. they're working from home and they're not going to be going back to their offices in Manhattan or Boston. Are you seeing a younger group moving here because they have mm -hmm. the flexibility? I am. Okay. I've been selling a lot to people in their 40s, oh, whereas really? two years ago it was mostly 60s. Yes. So I think Hilton Head is turning into a very dynamic island versus a couple years ago. Well, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, stuff. it is. Are people interested in outdoor living like they used to be too because of all of this? They are in pools. You know, pools are about a year and a half out. Are they a, lo really? a lot of the pool companies because of the outdoor space. Ah. Yeah. So when you're talking about renovations, again, do people take advantage, not, not in a bad way take advantage, in a good way take advantage of your expertise? They do. Um, I've found a lot of people that see me online yes. and re read about my background. And so when I'm walking through a house that needs to be re renovated, mm -hmm. I do. I let them know this is what we need to do. And it helps with um, when I list homes as well. Okay. You know, you basically get a free stager. Um, well, good point. Just because this is what I know can, what, yeah. when I'm listing a home, exactly. I know what, what people want to see. Mm -hmm. And because you're hiring me to list the home. If and people to sell need it. to track you down, mm -hmm. I know where to track her down. <laughs> Call me. Where do people? Where do can people find you? Really, my cell phone. Okay. Um, if anybody Google's Beth Drake, you'll see me all over the place That's on the true. internet. That's true. <laughs> and she really knows her stuff. And again, yeah. I think you know there there's more to selling real estate than just knowing the property. There's knowing um, having a vision. 
And I think that's and something that you're, your, yeah. And, and helping your client find the right home. For them. And most of the people that I work with down here, it's their home. I mean, it's gonna, mm -hmm. I wanna make them happy. I want them to like the neighborhood, the community, and, and I'm happy to help recommend people that can make it theirs. You are definitely user-friendly. Thank you yeah. for joining us. Welcome. Stay with us, there's more to come on Lines on Design.